everyone. I just wanted to have a quick talk about palm guards. We're getting an increasing number of emails and phone calls about this. So it's just really important that everybody knows how to size them properly and how to wear them um, when they are on your hands. So there's only really two key points in, in wearing one of the, the hand guards. One is the fitting, so just simply put it on the wrist and then have it nice and tight up around the, the meaty part of the wrist. The finger holes just sit loosely over the fingers and they should come up to the first knuckle. What you want to avoid is pulling it on like a glove. It feels a bit un unnatural to have it sitting high, but that's exactly what you need. As soon as you have the big fold on the inside, you can create a tearing of the palms. Leather on the skin will easily rip your palms open. So let it flow free and up around the top of your fingers. This will create a pull down here at the wrist strap and keep it tight and smooth against your, against your palm where it needs to be. So the, the crucial part is use. Um, mostly palm guards are used for kipping movements, not strict movements. When you actually sit on the bar, it's not the palm that is, all the pressure is on. Because of gravity and rotation, your hand will actually sit so that that, that ring part of your finger is where it's got pressure on the bar. Making sure that the palm guard is actually tight against your wrist and pulling up. See how this is loose? That's fine. When you're kipping, you're actually going to be fluid and moving around. So you don't want to actually be completely tight on the bar because all you're going to do is create that fold and you're going to tear your hands. So just in summary, the palm guard is not a glove. You do not force it down onto your fingers. Make sure that you've got enough play there so that it can be fluid and it can move with your hand. You don't want it to fit nice and tight. As soon as you make it tight, you're going to create a problem. Thanks.